to all of you today we are going to see the functioning of clamp type point this is the clamp type point with a thick web switch so this particular clamp type point is used wherever the standard four interlocking is provided in standard four interlocking the speed of the train is 160 kilometers so to withstand that one we are going to use this particular clamp type point mission so this is the point mission and this is the clamp type here the advantage of this particular point is the open switch rail is locked with the clamp type locking this is the clamp type locking ye hai aapka clamp type locking and also the closed switch is also locked and here this is the closed switch clamp type locking this is the clamp type locking so these two are the additional lockings along with the locking available inside the mission so inside the mission this is the locking available so this along with this locking you are having a additional locking of clamp type for closed switch this is the closed switch and here this is here this is the open switch both the switches are locked with clamp type so the advantages of clamp type is the housing of the point is up to 13 sleepers and here the switch is the switch rail is having a thick web switch this also called a thick web switch if you see the web thickness the thickness is very high so this is called the thick web switch so this thickness is much more compared to the normal switches the opening between the switch rail and the stock rail in this one is 160 mm the 160 mm opening leads to a gap of 60 mm at joh now we are going to see the joh so in joh you are going to get a gap of 60 mm so this gap is 60 mm so at uh, between 13 and 14 sleepers we are going to provide a ssd spring setting device this is the spring setting device which will make the good housing or better housing up to 13 sleepers if you come to the installation the difference between the normal irs point this is the irs point the difference between the irs point and the clamp type point are here the distance between the sleeper number 3 and 4 is 745 mm that means if i measure from center line to center line between the sleeper number 3 and 4 the gap should be 745 mm and the point is provided at 1150 mm when compared to the 1050 mm with the normal point so for this measurement i have to take from the gauge face now let us see the operation of the point so this is the opening of the switch and stock rail and this is 160 mm and this is the movement of the switch rail and if you see the both the rails both the switches are moving independently so if you see both the operations both the switches operation they are going to move independently first the open switch will move for 60 mm then both the switches will move for 100 mm then lastly this particular closed switch is moves 60 mm that is the movement of the switch rails so this is the clamp type locking achieved here this is called the fish tail lock arm this fish tail lock arm 
now you are seeing the operation of the point between the switch rails and the stock rail. So first this open rail will be going to move, after that both are going to move, both open rail and closed rail, then lastly this is going to move. So th this particular closed rail which is previously in closed condition comes <coughs> or operates at the last and this is the point. So this is this particular clamp type locking. In this clamp type locking this is called the fishtail lock arm. This is called the fishtail lock arm. This fishtail lock arm <coughs> the tail will enter into this notch and makes this particular switch to be moved. And this is called switch rail bracket and this one is called the stock rail bracket. This one is called the stock rail bracket. This one is called a switch rail bracket. This is called the lock arm, fishtail lock arm, and this is called the lock bar right hand. So let us see how the clamp type locking is achieved. So this is the clamp type locking actuated. And here, this particular fishtail lock arm is butting with the stock rail bracket. In the closed condition of the switch, the lock arm is going to butt with the stock rail bracket. So whenever it butts, this is going to get locked and we cannot open it physically. Physical opening cannot be possible once it gets locked.